Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, going to do the clone for you. Another impression that I picked up in one of my videos, one of my little pickup videos. <laughs> there, a few days ago last week, I was out and about and out in the boot. Out in the boot, eh? You hoser. Take off, hoser. <laughs> uh, shake it like that <laughs> anyway ignite my preferred fragrance their impression of Christian 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 Noir Savage <clears throat> the radio voice for the write up ignite is for the rogue explorer ready to light the night on fire Raw amber notes fused with citrus and black pepper to craft a fragrance that triggers the daredevil in every man. Ignite. <laughs> now that's the write-up. Uh, Savage clone. I love Savage. I love the one I got my original EDT back in 2015 and when I got the EDP well earlier this year fucking love Savage uh, you know I I, I, I I love Savage so much I went out and got that fucking body spray fucking cool Savage cool Mr. Ritter fuck it is forget now uh, I haven't liked the cologne in the last fucking 10 years as much as I've liked Savage. And I know, I know people are like, oh, fucking Savage sucks, Savage sucks. Oh my God, it's so synthetic, so fucking this, so fucking that. You know what? Fuck you. Just fuck you. Savage. I think it's a victim of its own success. Uh... There's a line in the Spider-Man movie from like 2000 with William Defoe, 2001, whatever it was, where he played uh, the Green Goblin, and he says to fucking Tobey Maguire, the dude playing Spider-Man, you know, and I'm, I'm paraphrasing, this isn't going to be verbatim, because I don't remember exactly what was said, but it basically it was something along the lines of, <laughs> you know, people love a hero, but what they love even more than a hero is seeing a hero fall, a hero become the villain, the bad guy, you know. And it's kind of human nature when something becomes extremely popular. There's a group of people that just want to hate on it because it's popular. I said it before and I'll say it again. Most of the people bashing Savage right now are the same people a couple years ago that were writing their little reviews on Fragrantica and Base Notes and, oh, it's the greatest ever, it's incredible, blah, 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 blah. And you look back and some of them haven't erased the previous comments, have a look. I now say, oh, it's horrible, it's this, it's that. Fucking hypocrites. It's not horrible. Another knock of it is it's, it's synthetic. Everything's synthetic. I've talked to the fucking... Food we eat, guys, is fucking thin synthetic. It's not a bad thing, actually. Synthetic, you know, usually you smell stronger and last longer. Uh, another knock, and I'll never understand this knock, is, and it's mostly from people who've gone too far one way into their cologne collecting. Uh, like, like niche... I only wear niche and fucking nothing else. And it's it's a designer. It smells like a designer. It's just mass appealing. Well, if you're one of those guys or girls that you know only wear niche because you think you sound important or whatever, cool. You don't. You sound actually a little idiotic. Mass appeal. The only people who most niche fragrances are not designed to please anybody. 
except for the person buying them. You know, they've got strange notes and strange accords and, and weird fixatives. and Not all of them, of course. Like I said, uh, some of them are nice, of course. But what's wrong with being designed to be mass appealing? More people are going to like your Sauvage than going to like your fucking Creed or your fucking Tom Ford private label. More normal, everyday, non frag head fucking people. All right? They don't have the nose that we have. You know, I, we've been smelling fragrances for most of us 10, 15, 20, 30 plus years. We're able to pick up on nuances and notes and stuff that a lot of normal, everyday, regular people who are just looking for something to smell good aren't going to pick up on. And those normal, everyday people, despite what you might think or you want to believe, are the majority, the vast, vast, vast majority. For every fucking one of us, there's a fucking hundred thousand of them. Who would you rather fucking make a clone for? If you're in it to make money. Think about it. Anyway, just a little rant on uh, elitist. I don't like elitist in anything, but... Especially the ones that just try to sound fucking like they're fucking important or fucking just trying to make them stack themselves up on a higher pedestal than everybody else. Because I only wear niche. All designers should be gotten rid of it. Only niche. Well, if we got rid of all designers, then all niches would be designers. Fuck. Dumb people. You're smart. Anyway. Sorry. I hate that rant. Anyway, I think, it, like I said, it's a victim of its own success. Uh, that was the box. You already seen the box. This is the bottle. Nice little square bottle. Uh, kind of Sauvage-esque cap. Not the cap itself, but more similar to the bottle. Uh, let's give you the... I did a review on Sauvage. It was more just a talk. When I first started this, so it wasn't very good. So I'm going to give you the uh, EDT and the EDP. Notes and year it was released and all that stuff. The EDT was 2015. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go with the EDT because the EDP is pretty much the fuck same thing. I know that's another thing. We go, oh, no, again, to your average everyday person, consumer, EDT and EDP are going to smell exactly the same. As I said earlier, it's us fragheads who can pick up that, you know, there's a little more pink pepper, a little more bergamot, a little little less musk in the EDP, you know, we get that, they don't. Again, mass appealing. Jeez, I went on a horrible rant there, this pisses me off. Anyway, uh, released in 2015, uh, accords are fresh, spicy, amber, aromatic, citrus, musky, warm, spicy. Notes off the top are pepper, bergamot, mid, it's got a lot of mid notes. Geranium, lavender, Szechuan pepper, elemi, pink pepper, vetiver, patchouli. Base is a base of cedar, labdamon, and ambroxan. What do you get from Sauvage in general? What do I get? I get a citrus peppery balm off top. Stays for a good couple hours. The ambroxan kicks in about half hour later on me. Gives it that uh, almost a metallic, a blue type metallic smell. Uh, very potent fragrance. Uh, very, on some people, Sauvage doesn't last that long. You know, it's, it's I should say, I haven't met anybody where it's not at least moderate. On me, it's a monster. That's just the way it is. Um, I get a little more longevity out of the EDP where I get a little more projection out of the EDT. So whichever one you're looking for, keep that in mind. If you're looking to purchase Sauvage, do you want the smell to last a little longer or do you want to be a little louder? Not that the EDP isn't loud and not that the EDT doesn't last long. It's just which one do you prefer? Um, 
Because again, 99.9% .9 of the people on the planet are not going to be able to tell the difference between the smell, guys. Um, yeah, that's pretty much what I get from Sauvage. I get a lot of pepper. Well, of course, she's got pepper, Szechuan pepper, pink pepper. I mean, I get the labdamum and, and, and the, the ambroxin. Uh, really give it a, a musky, like I said, almost metallic vibe to it. Uh, people have said that before, that it's metallic. It is metallic. Uh, but weirdly works with everything else. The cedar kind of smooths it out. Uh, the vetiver and the patchouli give it a touch of sweetness and, and earthiness. Uh, but the geranium and the lavender kind of give it a powdery vibe. It's a real nice mixture. And I, and again, if you're one of the people who just want to hate on it to hate on it, then, or, you, you know, whatever. That's cool, I guess. Again, you do what you want. Uh, but you ain't convincing anybody that it's not mass appealing. You ain't convincing anybody that it ain't one of the best-selling perfumes of all time. And one of the most complimented perfumes of all time. If there's something about it. But anyway, let's get into the uh, the knockoff. A little bit of a weak spray on this one. Uh, normally, I'd go with a two to one ratio on this one. What I mean by that is that normally if you put three sprays on, I'd say put six. Uh, just because it's weak. It's wide, but it's short and not very... Doesn't give a lot of juice. So I, I double up on the sprays. It's a nice, nice smell. Uh, Sauvage-esque. This is one of the ones we're preferred. I, they didn't quite get it right. Not that it stinks. Or that it's bad. It's definitely Sauvage-esque. I'd say about... I'll give a percentage like I used to do. Like 80% close to Sauvage. Uh, if you like the smell of Sauvage, but you find the pepper a little heavy and the ambroxan a little heavy, this would be perfect for you. Uh, basically think Sauvage with the pepper... And the ambroxan toned down a bit, and the bergamot and cedar and vetiver pushed up a bit. Could almost be a flanker. Uh, it's lighter than Sauvage, so I say it could almost be like a summer flanker, you know. Sauvage, Celsius, I don't know. Just a summer type flanker. It's got that DNA, you get that pepper. Bergamot right off the top. Again, it's not as potent. Uh, the labdomen and ambroxins right off the top too. Again, not as potent. Uh, doesn't project near as well as my Sauvages do. Um, the longevity on it. I got about four hours. Which isn't bad for a light fragrance. It's a lot lighter than Sauvage. I, I, I'm, I'm not joking. Uh, so it smells a lot like Sauvage, it's lighter. Um, only got about four hours on longevity. Uh, only projected for about an hour. And then only for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it really projected out there. Then it just kind of... Eh. Uh, that being said, though, this has got a nice silage to it. Now, people, what's the difference between, like, silage and projection? I think I've talked about that before. Projection is literally that. It projects out there. It moves out there. Whereas silage is kind of a, a scent that follows you. Uh, if you walk by somebody, they're going to be like, ooh, I can smell you. Whereas sometimes something can project really well but have very horrible silage. You can walk by them and they won't smell it. But if you stand there in front of them, they're going to smell it. So it does have good silage. Uh, I think that's the volatile notes in it, the the, the, the peppers and the, 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 the citrus and, 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 and the labdomen and ambroxan, volatile notes. Uh, just doesn't project as well, 
doesn't last near as long. But I didn't expect it to, to tell you the truth. Uh, heard a couple people say they got a lot of longevity out of this. Maybe it's my skin. My skin just eats up cologne in general. Um, but I got four hours on my skin out of this. I haven't tested it on clothes yet. Sauvage is one of the ones I generally don't like to wear on my clothes a lot. I, I find it works better with the heat of my body and the oils and stuff. So uh, I did apply my uh, vitamin E enriched unscented moisturizer stuff with a good half a dozen sprays and, poof, 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 and put it on that way and then put on a few sprays and that seemed to make it last about six hours increase the projection a little longer and 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 the silage uh all in all though i i love the smell like i said it's just a, a slightly lighter smelling version of sauvage not quite as peppery not quite as metallic uh very nice i i would actually venture to say i like the smell of this a little better than actual sauvage edt or edp again i have them both they're pretty close um i do like the smell of this a little better it's just uh it's easier to wear it's because Sauvage can be uh, pretty potent, choke some people out. You know, fucking, but uh, so it's easier to wear. I'm wearing it tonight, actually. I wore it all day. Fucking love it. Mm. Very nice. Uh, if you're wondering what that is, I bought two bottles of it, so I just marked the bottle that I'm using so I don't use the bottle that I'm not using I'm weird I know but um yeah that's all I really got to say about it guys it's, it's, a, it's a nice a, a beautiful smell like I said I even like it a little better adventure to say I like it a little better than Sauvage the smell itself wish it lasted a little longer projection I'm fine with um you know there's like I said there's ways to make that a little better too but uh, I'm good with a cologne that projects for an hour, even if it's not beast mode. You know, it still projects, like I said, about an hour, a couple feet out there. Uh, the silage is really nice. Um, real nice when somebody gets up close to you, because it kind of sits in the heat from your skin. And, oh, it's real nice when somebody gets a good date scent, I guess, right there. Good date scent. Um... Is it a redundant purchase if you already have Sauvage? No. No, like I said, it's different enough. A lighter version. If you like Sauvage and you want something, maybe you're a little scared to wear Sauvage. Because like I said, Sauvage can be pretty fucking pretty out there in, in, in your face. I get it. Uh, it's... If you don't have Sauvage... I'd, I'd probably get Sauvage, if you've been thinking about it, and not get the dupe uh, till you get Sauvage, or at least try Sauvage and see if it works on your skin. If it's a little too loud for you or a little too loud for the people around you, then I'd try this. Uh, so if you have Sauvage and you like Sauvage and you want to, I get it. And it's a little, like I said, it's almost like a summer sport version. Uh, if you don't have Sauvage, at least try Sauvage first. If you can't afford Sauvage, and that's what I do on this channel, I help people out, I like to think, then this is an excellent, excellent substitute. Not a replacement. I don't think anyone ever Sauvage, but an excellent substitute. You'll get the vibe, you'll get the smell, you just don't quite get the projection and longevity. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, Buy, try, or dish, ditch. I, I'd buy it. It was $350. I'd buy it. Uh, rating. Smell wise, it's getting a five. 
I really love that smell. I love that the peppers are a little toned down and the ambroxan and labdamin are a little toned down. Easier to wear. Uh, great for the summer. Sauvage, I find, can be a little, little heady in the summer. Uh, so it's going to be great come summer. I can't wait now, even though i got like five months left. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, longevity and projection, you know, two, a little below average. Um, again, I don't mind that. I'll reapply, and there's ways to make it last longer, but just out of the bottle, two. Uh, overall, I give it a 3.5. It's above average, not quite great. But good. So yeah, if you don't have Sauvage, you can't afford Sauvage. Or if you have Sauvage and you're like me, and you want to wear something a little lighter sometimes. Boom. Get it. Anyway guys, that's it. Peace. Love. Be good to each other.